Hello, I've got some updates now on the warnings for Hurricane Ophelia and perhaps an insight into what exactly is going on. First up with the red warning, the red warning is in operation for counties Mayo, Galway, Clare, Limerick, Cork, Kerry, Waterford and Wexford. We're all expecting in those areas winds of mean speeds greater than 80 km per hour, gusts greater than 130 km per hour. If you live or work in a area that is under a red warning the advice is crucial stay indoors if at all possible during monday and avoid unnecessary travel particularly near coastal areas where there will also be storm surges where the sea pushes up against our coasts all other counties of ireland are under an orange level warning that means we can expect gusts of up to 130 kilometers per hour. So still very dangerous conditions in all areas, particularly along the coasts and particularly along eastern coasts during Monday afternoon. Do stay in touch with the weather warnings. These could be updated and we could be moving to a red level warning on eastern coasts during Monday. Now we've also got rainfall warnings in operation, not quite as severe. We've got an orange level warning in operation for Donegal, Connacht, Clare, Limerick, Kerry, Waterford and Wexford. So that's rain, it's going fairly quickly through but there's still, this is a tropical nature storm so still quite a lot of accumulations. We're expecting greater than 40 millimetres of rain in these areas. All other areas we can still expect some heavy rain, up to 25 to 40 millimetres of rain is possible. So what's going on? Hurricanes form just off the west coast of Africa. This is where all hurricanes start their life in the warm oceans of the tropics. Usually what happens is the storms travel across the ocean in this direction, carried by the prevailing winds. And when they get to the Caribbean, then this is usually where we see the hurricanes gather their most strength. They usually run out of steam when they run into the coasts of America. And then sometimes they head back across the ocean to our end of the world and we get the tail end of a hurricane. That's not what's happening here. This hurricane is a different setup. What happened? This was earlier on last week this was Thursday of last week this is a water vapor image and this depicts this is the formation of Hurricane Ophelia last Thursday instead of going west across the Atlantic this hurricane got caught up in this trough this deep area in the upper atmosphere and it was deflected so this is this morning's same picture with the water vapor image this is our hurricane here it's been deflected in our direction this is a graphic depicting the strong upper air winds the jet stream we're always talking about the jet stream there's a shape on it this big u shape in the air in the upper atmosphere there's Ophelia down there it's been deflected up towards us by these strong jet winds and these jets also accentuate the activity on that storm, so adding some extra energy to the storm as it comes to our direction. So although the storm is losing hurricane status, it's not losing power. We've still got strong winds. We've also got, this is the temperature chart here in front of me. As you can see, the temperature across the region, across the Atlantic, is very high at this time of year, much higher than usual, which gave the energy to Ophelia to allow it to become a hurricane, and that's what's coming up in our direction. That's why it's felt warm in the last few days as Hurricane Ophelia pushes all that warm air up towards us. It's all going to change now of course when it comes our way and brings the wind and the rain. This is the latest satellite picture, clearly defined oh, eye on the centre of that hurricane but as you can see now it's starting to move towards us. It's keeping a lot of its energy, a lot of strength in this storm. Hurricane force winds coming onto our shores over the course of Monday. And as we saw, all those warnings of affecting from Mayo right the way around to Wexford. This is the winds. There's the strong winds, as we said yesterday, on the southeast side of the center of the low pressure area. So we've got strong winds right across the country during Monday, starting on the south coast, the southwest coast, early in the morning on Monday morning. And keep an eye on the weather forecast and take advice from your county councils as to what to follow. This is the rain associated with the same system. It's going to come through over the course of Monday too. So some comparable events. We had Hurricane Debbie came through in 1961. Now we didn't have the satellites to observe the formation of Hurricane Debbie in 1961. Luckily enough, it was spotted by aircraft around that time and we were able to make a very hasty 
precautions against Hurricane, but there are still 18 deaths through from Hurricane Debbie back in 1961. In, 19, um, in 2014, rather, Storm Darwin went through, causing quite a significant amount of damage. Now, Storm Darwin went through in the winter time when the trees had already dropped their leaves. So at the moment, the trees are very much in full leaf and we've got a storm that's possibly comparable in strength to Storm Darwin. You might remember Storm Darwin, that was in 2014. So we're looking at a very significant event coming our way on Monday. I never wanted to be wrong so badly in my life, but this looks like this is going to happen. We have to prepare for very strong winds. Now I can't offer advice that needs to, you need to take the advice from the County Council and the emergency services near you. But I can say, simple advice to take, make sure your pets are inside and protect any animals that you have in your control there. Tie down any loose items in your garden or on your property. Put away your garden furniture. Make sure your trampoline is tied down. These things fly and can cause absolute havoc. If you have time, if there's still time for you to do so, cut away some dangerous branches because the trees really are the ones that cause the most damage. And please do stay safe, stay indoors if at all possible and heed the warnings. The very best of luck and good night.